Yeah, disappointing. I, I think uh, our kids uh, played hard and um, just uh, feel like that we've got to coach them better and it starts with me again. Um, we, uh, you know, irregardless of of whether you you know, you may be the most talented team on a certain night, you certainly can be well coached in critical areas and critical downs and um, the margin for us between winning and losing right now is so small that you can't mess those up and and obviously um, you know I, I've got to do a better job to to make sure we don't make those mistakes in those areas and I don't know that it makes the difference in the game but it sure feels like it and we've got to convert those critical downs we continue to lose the battles on third and fourth down and um, you know that's disappointing and um, whether it's one guy or or a play call it's 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 really disappointing to I felt like we had really good work this week and it was excited about this uh, chance what a great crowd we had it was an incredible night and um, really felt like we would be in this game for the entirety and it's uh, just we, we we couldn't and we had our chances defense you know got some stops against a very explosive offense and you know offensively we just we we kept shoot, shooting ourselves in the foot it felt like and and they made some plays too but um, some of it was of our own doing Yeah, I don't. I don't think that had anything to do with the outcome of the game. You know, I think they both had a really good package, and they both worked at times. And, um, but um, I mean, it'd be nice to have have one for sure. But we're searching to see, you know, what is the best avenue for us to go to win. And I still think, you know, that um, that Robbie should have a package. And um, you know, I felt good about both of these packages tonight, and I think they both worked at times. But it was the it, it was when you get into the third down area we don't convert. Yeah, well, some of them, you know, I mean, the first third down you know we run we we had a run most of those were rpos and they gave us a five-man box and you know you want to hand it off and try to block them and they just beat us in the in twist games um we didn't feel like we matched up real well on their edge rushers on third down and that showed kind of in the two-minute drill that's they, they they were pretty good and um if we couldn't chip or something uh, we didn't feel real great about that, but we did feel good about running against a five-man box with, uh, with with routes on the outside. So that's what most of those were. Coach, uh, Auburn is on pace for the worst statistical season offensively they've had in 25 years. Had you anticipated mm -hmm. that it would be this hard to get something going on offense? And of course not. Are you still confident in your approach to play college? I think everything. I think everything is is up for evaluation. It should be with the numbers we're putting up. You, you guys only had six pass attempts until midway through the second the fourth quarter. Just a combination of three and outs, or what that was giving you, or, or kind of how to control. Well, you know, we wanted to get to the fourth quarter and shorten the game, and um, maybe that was the wrong approach. It felt like they were so explosive on offense that if we could, uh, if we could get to the fourth quarter, we we did feel like we could run the ball on them, and um, you know maybe it's the wrong approach. Again, everything you you look at and second guess after a loss that you felt like you had a chance to win. So, um, but you know, we need to stay balanced. But that is not, you know, we've we've struggled to throw the ball consistently, no matter who's back there, and protect it and catch it. It did. It did. And that would make me happy. Um, yeah, it, it appeared that we were we were better now. You know, again, you know, it's a little different when they they have a two touchdown lead and they're playing a little softer in coverage and not blitzing everything. So some of that can be skewed. Um, but again, you got to 
you know, we got to look at see see how many I don't know how many plays our defense played tonight, but we need to look at that. And if if us trying to shorten the game is not helping them any, we uh, we probably should try to pick up the tempo. Um, I can't answer the exact why's combination. Yeah, the message in there was, man, let's come back to work Monday. We've got uh, a lot of SEC games left. I think we, you know, obviously every SEC game is difficult to win. It's hard to win, but you, um, you would have to probably say we've we faced right in a row here some some difficult ones, um, and all of them will be hard. So I'm certainly not saying that, but some of the we've played what the three. Georgia, LSU, and Ole Miss, I think, are three top ten offenses, and you know, all ranked. And so that was a pretty tough stretch, and it's disappointing we didn't, you know, get a win out of one or two of those. Um, but the rest of the games, I'm excited for this team to continue to come to fight and battle, and that that's always a challenge in this day's time. But I was proud to see our kids kept fighting, and I thought they were heard the message in the locker room, and we'll come back next week excited to be back in Jordan Hare and have another opportunity. Yeah, felt like so. Felt like um, uh, I have to watch the film. I thought we had a, a really good plan coming out of half, and really liked the first call. And I have to—I don't know what happened on the back side of it because they gave us the exact look on the front side that we wanted, and I could only see the front side. And uh, you know, and it looked really good, like an explosive run. And then the trick play didn't work. It backfired on us. Um, they held the the ball a long time and I think they we, sh we probably should have got out of that. Yeah. Keontae makes us better and uh, he's a great leader and obviously a really good player. I thought it was clear on the replay that the ball touched the ground um, before he had, you know, his second foot was out of bounds, and then the ball looked like clearly that it hit the ground. Um, they just said that they had no conclusive evidence to to change it. Yeah, uh, man, we they they make us better for sure. I thought we, you know, played decent defense against uh, one of the more explosive offenses in the country at this point, and. They were two of the reasons why. You had to go to Connor Lee pretty early. And yeah. Like he played pretty well. Did you see a free pressure step into that environment? How, how much yeah, I have to watch the film. But uh, I don't think that you know he's mature. And I don't think it's something that uh, he would shy away from. And it's good to see him get those reps. Coach, thank you. Yep, thank you.